Hey guys, well, it's the end of the day and I thought I would listen to a little music and just like all of you, I'm sure, I, uh, I thought I'd just break out the old record player and since we had lying around, so something from Annie. And um, so, you know, the simple way we operate records is you turn it on and then, you, you know, pick up the, you pick up the needle, you move it over and then you're able to drop it down. And then we can get some sound coming out. Isn't that nice? I'm sure that's exactly how you listen to all of your music. Well, let's say that you don't have all of this available. So for today at Home Science, we're going to show you how you can recreate the electronic part of this, your little record needle, using an actual needle and some paper and a little piece of tape to make it into a cone like this. Let's see how it gets done. So a record like this one, um, again, kind of antiquated technology, but this was the dominant technology for close to 100 years. Anyway, a record like this one um, has a single groove in it and a little needle that is like a piezoelectric crystal will run through it and then that needle will deform as it hits little bumps in this. And then those deformations make a little, uh, a little, um, you know, like a, a signal, and those signals will go through an amplifier, and those amplifiers will turn this into sound that you can hear and enjoy. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to take a single little uh, sewing needle. This works really well. A sewing needle, and we're going to put it through a piece of paper, and that's going to make a cone. And it'll sound like an old gramophone, but basically this is going to go over all the same bumps that a regular record needle will and it'll vibrate with those bumps, and we should be able to hear the sounds of the record. We can play a record with an actual needle. This is really cool. The thing is, you just have to have a record and a record player, which, you know, we'll do it at the right speed. Still, cool, right? So to make this work, all we need is we take our piece of paper, we roll it up into a nice little cone, like this, and then we take our needle and we stick it through this portion here so that some of the needle is up inside the cone and the sharp point is down. And then all we have to do is orient this on the record. You can actually hear it, can't you? Fidelity's not great. So that's it. A tiny needle, sewing needle, right here at the bottom of a little cone. And you can sort of recreate some of the record players of old, uh, you know, bypassing all the electronics that give you the nice amplified sound. And this is a really kind of a cool thing. So if you have a record player around or something that'll spin a record at least, and um, you know, a piece of paper and a sewing needle, you can make it happen. And then if you want, you can engineer some neat stuff to see if you can make it happen better. So, hope you had a good time. See you later.